Welcome to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. Joan and Janet are subtle energy empaths who navigate consciousness. Their passion is to support you in your evolution. As consciousness, we are all one. One mind, one heart, free of all limitations. Experience this reality with us and discover how it can make a difference in your daily living. Join us in a state of grace as we explore, with warmth and humor, this thing we call life. Now, here are Joan Newcomb and Janet Barrett. Welcome to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. We're your co-hosts, Joan Newcomb, to you, coming to you from Tacoma, Washington, and my partner, Janet Barrett, is coming to you from Portland, Oregon. Hello, everyone. We are talking today about prosperity and abundance from the perspective of consciousness. As consciousness, right. there is no limitation or lack. So what do you want to say about that, Janet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, you can have a lot of different things, <laughs> which is what abundance is, right? But it's an interesting concept. What if there was enough? What if there was right. more than enough? And, and from consciousness standpoint, there is, right? We're the ones who put the limits on it. So it's, it's an interesting premise for all of us. And it's like, okay, the Powerball stuff, right? What yes. if it all feel like that? You know, that's a big deal right now in, in our collectiveness, literally in our collectiveness. And I love how it seems to be starting conversations within people. And um, that may not be the, uh, the, the intent of it originally, but it seems to be doing that, so... Well, let's talk more about that. Let's get our announcements out of the way. What do we got to let people know about? Uh, that Powerball is up to $1.5 billion. That's what I, <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at that. So um, we'll, well, there's so Bob more to say about that. <laughs> people should call in and talk to us. How about that? What, what number That's do they use? Uh, to call in and talk to us live, it is 888-627-6008. So if you want to contribute to our conversation about prosperity and abundance, or if you have some questions about prosperity and abundance in your life, we can go to town with that topic. So 888-627-6008. Yeah. And the other thing Janet was saying is, do we have any events to get out of the way? Yes, we have events not to get out of the way, but to let you know <laughs> how to stay so in touch with us outside of the podcast radio show here. Sue, so, um, yes. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so my website is joan-nukem.com. And if you go there, you can sign up for my newsletter and get a free quiz on discovering your life purpose and regaining your passion. I am also taking on private clients at this time to help them to navigate through 12 weeks to transformation and getting you on track with rediscovering your life purpose, regaining your passion for life, and miraculous things have been unfolding for the people around me. So joan-nukem.com has all that information there. I also have meetups around the Puget Sound, Seattle, Tacoma, Bellevue, and Olympia. If you're in this area, you can uh, connect with me at a meetup. Uh, Janet also has a meetup she'll tell you about with the same topic. Uh, and then we, the most recent meetup actually is Conscious Conversations in Seattle on Sunday, January 24th at the Magnolia Library. And the next one's in Olympia, Sunday, January 31st at the Timberland Library. And I also put out YouTube videos twice a week that you can discover on my website as well. How about you, Janet? Well, let's see. We've got Heart Centered Awareness on Tuesday evenings here at my home, Conscious Conversations with Janet, that's uh, through Meetup and whatever other sourcing you might want to come. So that meets weekly, weekly, and we access heart space like we do here on the show, and we really have the most marvelous of times. You never know what, well, that's with this work always, is you never really know what's going to show up. We can always pick a theme or a place to start, but that's all it ever is, is a place to start. And we also want to let, for all of you know, who are not local to either Joan in the Seattle area or me here in Portland, Oregon, that you can join us on our free conference call next Thursday, correct? Thursday evening. Yes. Uh, 7 o'clock. 
And for those of you that are around the world or someplace different, you can call in. You want to contact us at Conscious with Joan and with Joan and Janet at gmail dot com and find out that information and get on that list. And uh, we take an hour and do the same thing. And you know it it. It's always just the premise, it's the setup. It's the setup is that we want to be able to access our authentic voices, hear the quiet, and then the voice that comes out of the quiet. And so we just are providing that forum for that to happen for all of us around us as we realize that that's really the most important thing you can do anymore in the world. So um, contact us those ways, and then uh, what else? Oh, yes. Oh, that's about where I am today. (laughs) (laughs) Well, and the other thing is if you go to Janet's website, JanetBeyond.com, you can get her top 10 tips for enjoying life. But Janet being Janet tells you it's 10 (laughs) tips and she gives you 29. So (laughs) the woman is generosity personified. Um, And (laughs) how about um, our show is also in, you can find out about about us on Facebook. Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet on Facebook. Join the group and join the fun. You can follow us on Twitter at Joan and Janet on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter at Joan Newcomb. I have a lot of fun on Twitter with lots of different things to share. And you can also subscribe to us on YouTube. If you enjoy binge watching YouTube, you're going to have a great time blissing out to our continuous shows on YouTube. And please email us at Conscious with Joan and Janet and send us your topics of things to talk about. As Janet said, we go all over the place with this, but it at least gives us something to put in our show description. So we'd really appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> That's important to do. So as we talk about prosperity and abundance in our theme of January and what what happens when you have a sense of self-worth, which there they go. They fit right into it. And this is the year of joy, I've decided for myself, certainly. And I know, Joan, you're enjoying that that also. Um, it is recognizing that as consciousness, things are unlimited. There is no limit. It's the human that puts the limit on things. And that's fine. That's appropriate. Um, and then it's about expanding beyond that. So if you were awarded a Powerball, what would you do with it? And what if you knew that you had it and you just choose not to indulge in it? Right? What is that all about, do you notice, Joan? Well, that was an interesting phrase about being awarded a Powerball. You know, Mm -hmm. that's uh, being awarded, it's like being awarded something. Whereas, you know, what you do when you go for Powerball is you go and you spend a dollar or $20 or $100 on a ticket. Mm -hmm. And then random numbers, there is no randomness, but in your creation is consciousness, <laughs> random numbers show up and you win the thing. And how would that feel? And, you know, I, I have been looking at that and going, you know what, that would kind of feel not like a bucket of cold water dumped in your head, but that'd be like a tsunami coming at you. Because all we yeah. really need, you know, we maybe, right. you know, do, do we need a cup of water? Do we need a, a a bathtub of water do we need a a swimming pool of water and then you've got an ocean of abundance coming at you and what that would do not only to you but everybody around you if you won you know 1.5 billion one how many it's going up to now yeah there'd be so much coming at you it it may not be very pleasant to start with actually well and i think that's part of the uh, the adventure, the reality is like, that's why we hold it off because we know we would be different. And, there, you know, there's something they say, the statistics that like 98% of lottery winners lose it within two years, um, whatever size it is, because it so changes their reality and we go back to what we know. It's a, it's a real interesting premise that we're all willing to... and how, willing to stake ourselves to the degree that Oh, okay. Well, I can just do this. It doesn't really commit you to anything, you know. <laughs> I'll buy a piece of paper. I just get a piece of paper. Reality well, you is know, that you... And, the, you yeah. know, the funny thing I realized when I was looking at this as consciousness, as consciousness, we are prosperity and abundance. We are this mm-hmm. expansive mm-hmm. experience. So mm-hmm. what, we're, what we do as consciousness in order to create physical form 
is we focus, we, we actually narrow our focus in, to create density. And it's consciousness's intention to experience what density is all about. So consciousness is creating density. And then it's body personalities who are going, we want, we want expansion. We want freedom. <laughs> you know, we, we want, you know, bigger and better. And so it, consciousness doesn't really care. Actually, consciousness enjoys uh, restriction and limitation <laughs> because it's not taking it seriously. You know, it, mm -hmm. it's, it's everything happening at once. So that was just kind of a, 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 an interesting awareness that I hit on this morning is what part of me wants to win, you know, billions of dollars and what part of me mm -hmm. is actually enjoying swimming around in all this, this, you know, frustrating, dense reality. <laughs> what wow. part of me is feeling well, we frustrated? Gotta... <laughs> yeah. We've got a lot to talk about from within heart space. So on the other side of our commercial, we'll do that. And right now we'll take a little break. Are you ready to take a quantum leap in your life? Joan Newcomb is a conscious mastery coach who empowers you to navigate life from your own inner wisdom using energy techniques. Contact her through her website, joan-newcomb.com, and take conscious mastery of your life today. That's joan-newcomb.com. You are listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. To reach our program, please send questions and comments to Conscious with Joan and Janet at gmail.com. That's Conscious with Joan and Janet at gmail.com. Now, back to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. Welcome back. You're listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. And I'm Joan here along with Janet. And we are talking about prosperity and abundance as consciousness uh, and any moment in a state of grace. <laughs> <laughs> so prosperity and abundance, what do those terms mean? Abundance could be anything it's just a lot of something so if you're a person who collects problems and abundance to you <laughs> might be a lot of problems um so i think sometimes we have to be clear about how we use our terminology and what it means for us you have to be careful Prosperity. what you're praying for <laughs> you exactly. gotta be careful you know you'll say lots of money and then it'll come out in different ways yeah. it might come out in lots of debt because you know the universe has a sixth sense of humor. <laughs> really. And then we do want to talk about how we're not really talking about things. We're not really talking about money, though it's coached right. in that context. We're talking about generosity of spirit and and what that is all about. And so let's see, we ready to dive into to heart and then sure. carry on from there, you think? Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. everybody. So another another step forward into yourself <laughs> and self-exploration is a good thing and uh, this is probably kind of a hot topic for a lot of people because we are we are doers who are looking to be when we're really beings who do so let's see what do we notice here let's just put today aside for a little bit <sighs> Okay, and let's just, you know how you stand against the wall. Everybody stand against the wall metaphorically in your mind. And you're just going to allow yourself to slide down that wall. And when you hit the floor gently, you're just going to be at the level of heart. There you go. And heart here is a physical sensation. It's also the emotional train. So just notice that. I think there's a lot of heaviness in heart I'm noticing. So that's all right. Don't judge it. Just allow it to be present. And then sink even further into the core, the essence of all, where you and I are one. And we're just in the sea of potential with bits and pieces of light particles those are the things the stories the vibrations move through it all so just notice there we go 
And notice that whatever you thought today was about, it might be a little different for you having spent this time with yourself and us. There we go. All right, there people are getting it. Lots of sliding down the walls. And it's kind of a nice image to me just because you let go. And it's so important to be strong and support yourself and all that kind of mumble jumble. And this is just allowing yourself to just undo, unfold. There we go. And that's all right. Pull that person down with you. <laughs> <laughs> but in a good way. In a good way. Yeah, there you go. Let's just see the whole office just sliding down the wall. There you go. What would it be like for your family to slide down the wall? There we go. All right. That feels interesting. All right. What are you noticing, Joan? Yeah, that was interesting. I, I was watching. Um, I, I can't say they were patterns. I was just watching things unfold. Mm -hmm. And they were like little soft uh, combination of like white, white cherry blossom petals mm. and and confetti <laughs> unfolding. Oh. And, you know, normally I, we're talking about a current thing because there's a huge Powerball tomorrow. I, I usually try to keep things outside of time and space because I know people are listening to this at all different moments. But there mm -hmm. was uh, an astrologer that I was listening to this morning who said this afternoon was some kind of configuration of a quantum leap. Or mm -hmm. So I was thinking, well, this morning feels... It feels a little quiet, but it also feels like we're we're we are getting ready to make some monu monumental shift. And mm -hmm. as you and I know, in playing with this consciousness, it may seem really subtle. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, reality looks just the same, but you've stepped into a parallel universe where something completely different is happening. So that's well, uh, I, can, I I can see people sitting on the floor. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of like it takes you. Oh, great. <laughs> takes, it takes you unaware. Great. Oh, great. Okay. Well, yeah. Call well, me. the room just tilted. So, Donald, are you there? <laughs> yes, ma'am. What can we help you um, with here? Well, the, the short version of my whole situation is. Everybody keeps telling me that I need to let go of my worries and my fears, and I keep trying. I'm, I'm still, you know, pretty new Christian. I've, I've got saved almost five years ago, and uh, I, I pray. I mean, I, I'm not going to try to lie to you. I mean, I, my church attendance has been kind of slipping lately due to uh, a romantic interest in my life, and uh, I can't help but wonder if some of the trials that I'm going through, one of my friends pointed out that maybe it's a combination of God trying to get my attention for the my church attendance and the fact that I've, I've kind of put God on the back burner a little bit, and maybe that's why I'm suffering with this situation, but I've never been this stressed in my life even when my father passed away and I keep trying to let it go but I, I've never figured out how I mean I keep hearing everybody tell me oh you just let it go let God take care of it and I do trust God I do trust Jesus to take care of this I know that that Jesus is going to fight for me I just don't know how to how to calm down about it how to not let this affect me like it is well thank you for calling donald it's a, you you bring up some good points there what do we got joan what do we want to offer donald 
Well, Donald, what I hear for you is that you are going through some really a massive transformation, massive shift. And, you know, your all the things that are your core foundation, you know, your church and your relationships and, and up till now they have provided you a really strong foundation that that is designed to help people to spiritually grow. And what I'm hearing in what you were saying, there's some things there that don't, you know, fit between the lines, you know, that don't fit between the, the, the guidelines. And there's this greater aspect of you that is coming in. How do you reconcile that? Does that sound accurate, what I was picking up when yeah, you were talking? That's so the thing... Really spot on. Yeah, so, the, you know, the, so the wonderful thing is, is that, you know, if you read the Bible with your own intuition, there is truth in there. And, but if it, it's kind of like a game of telephone, you know, uh, the Bible wasn't written down for the first hundred years after Jesus died. So there was a lot of information that, that got written down later on with, and, and everyone's reading it through their own slides of truth. But if you read it from your heart, if you read it with your own intuition, you will get inspiration that may not be coming to you from the pulpit in the morning and you know on Sunday morning and you know and we're all trying to seek that spiritual truth we're trying to get that feeling that Jesus was talking about you know Jesus said you know what I what I do you can do too which really means that you know we can do miracles that we can step up to be greater than we we imagine us to be. And so you're right there on the leading edge with a lot of other people who are having these inexplicable experiences of expansion, and you are feeling a greater consciousness coming into you, but you just don't know how, it's like, it isn't, it isn't matching up with, with the foundation that you grew up with. And so I just want to let you know that there's a greater, there's a greater understanding and that you might have to find that within, with your own direct communication, like your own prayer with God, your own prayer with Jesus, and and not what the outside's saying. What does, what do you have to say, Janet? Well, I, I think this is totally appropriate for why we access heart space. Yes. What we intend to do with this show and offer our listeners is um, how to hear your voice free of all the other voices and in your direct current connection with God and what you hold that to be. And um, I think that uh, if I, I heard I heard some issues about trust. And we hold that in different levels. And Donald mentioned some trust that he has. And then there's other kinds of trust. And so I think what I would offer you uh, and our listeners who are questioning this expansive energy that they're feeling, it might not feel expansive to them because they they don't have a reference for it. We do because, uh, you know, it's what we do. Um, That... What if you knew you were okay, Donald? What if you knew at heart that you were okay? Yeah. And and that trust, that trust in yourself as a being of God, as a person who believes in in important things. And and take that security. See, that that has security in it. And and allow yourself to feel that. The person whom you're trying to reach is current. (laughs) <laughs> Someone's yeah. trying to reach us. <laughs> yeah. And are you still there, Donald? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. All right. So just notice what that feels like. The idea that you're okay. Doesn't, you know, let go of the chatter. Hear your I, own heart. I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm just so terrified of this whole situation and everything. And I've had a couple of... Uh, panic attacks and I just broke down crying because I just don't know what to do. Okay, well, listen to what we're we're sharing with you. Okay, is that you can break that pattern. That's just a pattern. So just breathe. 
there you go. And this is for everyone who's listening. Because we all get into panic attacks. There's a lot of things out there in the world that can be scary or upsetting or challenge us. And we always have to remember to breathe. So as we collectively take a breath. There you go. There we go. Now, you have to get present, too. A lot of us are in the past. And so you want to get present in this moment. What do you notice? There's the quiet. And out of that will come will come your your inner direction. So in the moment. And then you allow this moment to expand into another moment of where you've had this moment. There we go. And just notice that, Donald. Is that feeling different? Did we lose him? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, so the other thing is, Donald, if, if you're still hearing us but you've lost the phone connection, is just, just know that what Janet was doing in terms of spiritual healing is having an unfolding effect for you, and you might just find um, a better feeling of well-being. Um, I often find that that it, it may take a little. And panic attacks are real normal nowadays. I know lots of people are going mm -hmm. through panic attacks, and I yeah. think it is really just it's an adjustment to this greater energy. I'm, I'm speaking in his language, but, you know, you kind of remember the stories in the Old Testament where, you know, people were freaked out in front of burning bushes and things like that. Yeah, right. it, was, it was scary to be in front of all that magnificence and, the, and, and that increased energy. And I think what we want to do sometimes is switch from anxiety and recognize it as excitement. Yes, yes. Because yep. they are coming from the same place. And I think it's just how we are to label it at the time. And so what if there was really excitement about things being different? Yeah, there you go. It's mm -hmm. about being excited that life has got opportunities to it. See, because in all chaos or anything that we are going to label chaotic is opportunity. And uh, that doesn't always go smoothly, gently into the night. It is challenging us at times to question. It gives us the place to question where we are and how we do things and what we feel and who we live next to and who's our friends and where we go and et cetera, et cetera. And it's just opportunity. So anymore, I don't know that I resonate with anxiety so much as I do about excitement. There we go. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and how that all has to do with prosperity and abundance. Well, and, I, I can totally see that because, yeah. you know, we're talking about Powerball. We're talking about prosperity and abundance is, an, is, is a bigger feeling than you're currently feeling if you're not mm -hmm. feeling very prosperous or abundance. But Yes, you know, yes. And, and so that can be scary. But, but if you think about those times that you felt that, that you have felt that there is enough, that you feel at just this wonderful sense of well-being. You know, when you were a little kid on the playground, that was an incredible experience of prosperity and abundance, and you didn't even have an allowance yet. You know, mm -hmm. you were just, the, there was no time, there was no space, there was just sunshine and the monkey bars, you know. Well, and I think this is where we realize that it's about a feeling state, that there's more than enough, that your needs are being met. And a lot of us as children don't have that. You know, I mean, every situation is different. But there is that um, place there that it's not about the things. Yes. And, it, and the money is just a way to mark accomplishments. And, you know, our societies have gotten a little off whack with all that, as far as I can tell. Um, and... Actually, the way the lottery and this whole conversation about 
there's enough for only one. When in reality, there's enough for everyone to participate. And there's only one winner. It, what does that do for those of us who don't get the ticket? Does that mean we're losers? I mean, there's just whole bunches of stuff here that that are we're all swimming in. And uh, it depends upon how you engage any of this, your mindsets that you've got operating, I think. Well, and the thing is, it is it is pretty mind-blowing to step into this expanded aware, awareness of consciousness. And if, you know, if you come from any kind of conservative, uh, strongly religious background, it, it's, you know, it is going, it is more than likely going to feel uncomfortable as you are relaxing into this greater awareness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and so I've been enjoying the conversations I've been having with my friends about what we would do different mm -hmm. with all that money, right? <laughs> Yes. And and the philanthropic arm that comes into play really pretty quickly. And it's funny because when I listen to the news or something and they interview someone and they're talking a billion dollars and they ask someone, what would you do with all that money? And they go, oh, well, you know, I'd buy a car. Right. <laughs> it's like so. So you can see they don't have a concept of what that whole <laughs> – because you can't go there, right? Right. It's Their true. reality is a, a new car would do it for me. <laughs> you know, when when it was only at you know eight hundred million last yeah. last week uh, last Saturday, um, I did the math, and that I get caught up doing the math and then uh -huh. figuring out how much it would be to give all my relatives fourteen thousand dollars because that's what they can get without receiving without having to pay tax. You know, okay. <laughs> Once I've done that, I've fallen asleep, and I haven't really gone to it. But but if it was at the jackpot last Saturday, if you took the thirty year uh, option, mm -hmm. it was at seventeen million dollars a year. Okay. And even seventeen million is too hard for people to figure out how to spend. When you, it's it's more than a car. It is like it is like an ocean of of water coming in. So well, for people though, you know, we have a. A rising, uh, what do you call it? If you're not the middle class, you're what class are you? Not poverty, the other direction. The Upper independently wealthy. The independently okay. wealthy. I wonder okay. how many of them buy lottery tickets. Well, they don't. They aren't in that kind of game and chance. They buy. <laughs> buy they buy stocks. You no, know, they buy stocks. No, Here's yeah, they buy stocks. They buy companies. You know. <laughs> So it's just different references, you know. Um, Somebody else said that if they had won, if they had taken the cash option on Saturday, they could get every person in the United States four dollars thirty three cents. Mm, mm. So you know that, and that was you know this maybe by Wednesday they could give everybody eight dollars, but that's everybody, <laughs> yeah. you know, including the people who were born since Saturday. You could give them all that much, and that's you know how much is enough, you know. Well, how much is enough, right? You know, how much is enough? How much power is enough? And we're all at different places with that. And I'm not judging anyone except I judge those who I, f I hear about <laughs> that, that are doing things what I would call illegal and just reaping in the dollars. And you go, okay, on a personal standpoint, that, that's offensive to me. But on a cosmic standpoint, standpoint i realize you know it's all okay it's just you know information but, and the uh, other thing is this as consciousness you are creating all of this down to the smallest detail in the most minute yeah. way you're yeah. and and so there always is more to create there is there is always more to receive there's always more to create there's always more experiences to have and it's so it's it's never as limited as as we think it is and you know, the other thing I was thinking is, you know, there is this, even in the, the worst things that are happening you know, in, in your life, there's always somewhere there's a sense of well-being. Okay, so where's that sense of well-being? Joan, do we have a technique that comes to mind here? We've talked about it. How are we okay about receiving? Because this ties into our receiving thing. Um, and what we would do with that. So do we want to create an adventure for people here? Well, 
here's a suggestion that actually popped into my head. And, it, okay. and interestingly enough, it wasn't to do with, with money necessarily. But mm -hmm. I flashed back. I flashed, I flashed back. I don't know. Okay, I won't go there. Um, so actually what it is is it's how to have a higher perspective of your life. Okay. Because if you're viewing it through lack, if you're viewing it through poverty, if you're, if you're viewing it through anything that feels uncomfortable, mm -hmm. then that you, you are there in your body level. I call it swimming at the bottom of the fish tank. And um, I'm mixing my metaphors now. Try, you, you, you can anchor your body, but you can lift your perspective up to... Um, sky level mm -hmm. and, and look down at your life as if you were looking at it from an airplane okay everybody let's see how this will work now if an airplane feels too far away you can you can hover down you can get into your you know spiritual helicopter or or whatever and come down a little bit closer but what you're doing is you're looking at Let's say you're just, you know, you're, you are hang gliding over the football stadium of your life. You know, you're able to see the players on the field. You're able to see, how many metaphors can I, can I mix? In that? <laughs> but if you, can, if, if you can take a look at the bigger picture of your life and all the people interacting, coming in and out, where you are, you know, are you sitting in the mud? Are you over there, you know, on nice green grass? Or what are you in the process of creating? And viewing it from sky level, as I like to call it, mm -hmm, or from mm -hmm. you know, upper, uh, upper in the you know whatever the 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 elite seats are at the stadium, you you can see what you're creating in your life outside of the emotions and the attachment to it, mm -hmm. and you get a sense from up there that everything is very well, and that you can move on to the next experience, or you can make a different choice. Well, what we've been talking about, too, is what comes to mind for me is that receiving, is putting your hand out. And how, and we would think, oh, yeah, yeah, give me that check. But everybody, put your hand out and notice, do you take the check? Well, so we've got them up in the airplane and we have yeah. them reaching out for a check. So there's a little... <laughs> There's a conflict with So how come to, down, come down. I, when wait, wait, done wait, with wait. I'm not, they're not, I'm, I'm still, I'm still running them through an exercise. So okay. actually they're still up in the airplane. They're experiencing what it's like in an airplane. And before you land the plane, realize that this is the space where you create your abundance, where you create your prosperity. So what would it be like to bring that feeling back down as you land the plane into your life? There we go. It's it's starting to permeate in there. But you can bring this expansiveness and this feeling of well-being in your life. The thing that I find when I do my upgraded techniques, when I talk about anchoring in the body, is mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not going more into density. Mm -hmm. I am bringing my consciousness into my body, and it actually there's there's a there's a release. There's a lack of pain when I'm working on this level of consciousness. It's really mm -hmm. interesting. Okay. Okay, what were you talking about, about handouts? Well, what I was noticing, I think from that overview, were, yeah. were all the hands that were up, right? Yeah, right? And it's like they're ready to receive something, but then when it got close enough, they weren't. Right. So we think we're, you know, receptive, but in, in, if you follow that vision down, you can really see how people are responding, and it might surprise themselves and... and like, oh, I thought I was open to that idea, but guess not. And my, you know, my, what I keep reminding people over and over again is that you are consciousness. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the hands that are up, there's, that's an aspect of you. That's, that is your, your physical focus is the hand that is up mm -hmm. and, and reaching upwards. But if you shift your perspective to you as consciousness, then you have this sense of bringing into your awareness the abundance and all that that there is okay so so it's a sh if you're feeling black if you're feeling uh you know a desperate need for something 
shift your perspective to the sky level aspect of yourself and it and it supplies what you need there's more than enough exactly there's more than enough there's always more than enough and it's our beliefs that keep us it's our sense of ourselves that keep keep us from connecting to that reality so we live in a different reality mm. And it's just our willingness to to let something be different. And so what would it be like? Because a billion, I don't even know what that number is, right? That's a number I hear about now. What would it be like to get $5, right? Unexpectedly. Someone offers to pay your coffee. Do you allow them to do it? Or do you get upset or apologetic or whatever it is? And then if you're okay with that amount, well, what about $100? Just notice. Can you accept? Do you have to justify? Maybe it's a trip to, I don't know, part of Iorta. Those t- wonderful timeshares. If you only listen to 90 minutes... <laughs> Of a sales pitch, is it worth the flight, the three days, the coming back? Because anywhere along the way is an opportunity for something. But notice how you're already thinking about how it's going to be. And do you feel good about how it is? Because it isn't. It's just what you said it is. So what if you were open to having something fun show up, enjoyable show up? These are the different ways we compartmentalize and organize our life around these things. So you can, and I'm not into randomness too much as I view myself as consciousness and then I see all the connectiveness and so from this earthbound position it feels like something's random because I don't have the bigger picture I don't have the overview that's playing I don't have the awareness of what's really how it's all has connection and there we go so what would it be like to just what is it like to find a penny on the street I used to find pennies all the time and then I thought well what if I could find dimes and then every now and then I'd find a dime and it was like yeah (laughs) (laughs) and I mean I enjoyed the penny but you know (laughs) a dime I never found dollar bills how come nobody drops dollar bills (laughs) yeah and maybe they do. I don't know. Well, I think we're probably getting where we need to start coming back. Or are we? Yeah, still here? I think so. I All think right. it's ready to to slide All back. All right, slide back. All up right. The wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, everyone. So just notice this conversation about being prosperous. And authenticity. Well, not uh, oh, that's interesting. I used authenticity for abundance. Whoa, that's an interesting slip. When there are no slips, so we'll be sure and talk about that after the break. But let's see here. Just come back into your emotional drain, realizing that whatever we instigated or unfolded or brought awareness to will keep enriching and changing if you allow it to. And as you've embraced yourself as consciousness and got a good overview of what's going on as we dip into the pool. So just notice your heart. Feels like there's a lot of constriction around heart. So almost like gas pains or something so, <laughs> so so everybody just breathe and notice the constriction and just go deeper go back go deeper one minute yeah we would be fine go deeper there you go and just 
just allow yourself to realize that you've got some things there about heart that we've kind of tapped into. And it might be a lot of that philanthropic part, the compassion part of us and what we would do. There we go. Okay. I saw everyone start to hold hands. That's lovely. Yeah, what if everyone, it's like a Coca-Cola commercial. Everyone's holding hands around the world. How lovely. So just breathe. Know that things are a little better, richer, deeper. And as you come up to heart, no, oh, come up. Come up to heart. Oh, wow. All kinds of things going on here. So we are always in heart. It's just our awareness that comes and goes. So as you come up to street level, you are in heart. Nothing's changed. And help each other off the floor. <laughs> and take a collective breath. There we go. And I guess we're ready for our break, huh? Yes. So you're listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. Uh, we have to take a commercial break, but stay tuned because we're talking about prosperity and abundance as consciousness in a state of grace. Would you like a fresh approach to the challenges you're dealing with? Janet Barrett is a subtle energy empath. Feeling the energies present in your myths and language, she offers a supportive, non judgmental viewpoint. Experience new ways to relate to and release the energies in those stories. Receive a $25 discount on your first session. Email Janet for an appointment at Janet B at Janet and Beyond dot com. Come explore with Janet. New possibilities for a joy filled life. You are listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. To reach our program, please send questions and comments to Conscious with Joan and Janet at Gmail dot com. That's Conscious with Joan and Janet at gmail.com. Now, back to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. Welcome back. You're listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. I'm your host, Joan, along here with Janet, and we are talking about prosperity and abundance as consciousness. We are it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. You know, I live such an abundant life. Uh, I see opportunities everywhere. Doesn't mean I have to take them or I do have the time or even, you know, 1% of the time. But I do, do, do see the abundance of life. All you have to do is look at a tree and watch it blooming. And there you go. And prosperity. Oh, life is rich. It's, it's everywhere around us. There we go. What do you notice, Joan? Yeah, you know, we are in a ocean of abundance, an ocean of abundance, and we are abundance. And most of us are just sitting around with teaspoons in terms of, uh, uh, you know, enjoying mm -hmm. it or appreciating it. And what would it be like if you just relaxed into it? Well, I, I, for some reason, I'm picking up the the Earth does create a finite uh, experience, right? Mm -hmm. There, um, it, but and it's always transitioning. It's always uh, doing its thing, and we need to take care of it because supplies are limited, <laughs> right? And it seems to be reaching a an awareness level in us finally that um, there is outcome to things that you do. Um, and you can't, and you have, it's not that you can't, it's that there is cost at times for actions and you, and what we do and what that brings along with it and to be responsible and to foster the next generation. And we hold these to be ideals, but we don't always follow up because uh, a business might, a business claim or how we think about the world gets compromised in that and uh so we do that but the earth is one of many places and it's a 
unlimited, expansive horizon out there. So, you know, if you're interested in exploring other places, you know, then don't take care of this one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, you but you so actually that was an interesting comment because that's you know not taking care of this planet or that we're you know doing things to destroy this planet and all that's a very earth-based perspective and mm -hmm. you know the the thing is is that you know I recycle and you know I you mm -hmm. know I don't contribute to methane by eating beef I don't do that and and yet I think about with global warming is that we're going to come up with a solution because we're, we, we create a global warming in our reality and we're going to come up with a creative solution to it as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, maybe after because all people, those... Because dollars, people wake up. People wake up to themselves, right? Well, That's more what than we're that, looking for all that, of us to do. More than that. More than that. It's more than waking up to yourself. It's that we can, in a blink of an eye, create a different experience. You know, when you're creating as consciousness, you you can you can completely turn things around. But when you're viewing it through the density of time and space, you you come up with a scientific explanation for it. Right, right. Consciousness doesn't care about all those things. It just right. experiences and, stuff. And it blinks it it blinks its it blinks its not <laughs> non eye and creates yeah. something. Different, you know, so. <laughs> there's no attachment in it. Right. right. So if it's not this, it'll be something else. That's all. So what else do we notice about what do we want to share? Well, let's well, see. I would like we, to tell people how to find out about us outside of the radio show and then okay. remind people about the things going on. But did you have something else um, esoteric mm, to, to share? Well, let me see. What are, there's a lot to wrap our heads around. I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess that's yeah. what I'm noticing. It, there's yeah. this energy of, whoa, okay, I got to, yeah, I think something's going on. So I'm happy for that. Good. Good job, people. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and we'll all experience this individually. And if you start to notice things from a bigger perspective, you'll see it. Uh, you'll see it going on externally as well but it really is growth is like a breathing in and a breathing out and are you in this experience of contraction or experience con uh, expansion and you know it's just all about how to enjoy life using Janet's mm -hmm. terms yeah. so <laughs> so I do want to remind folks how to get in touch with us outside of the radio show so if if you're enjoying our radio show you Go can also Listen to the podcast on YouTube. You can also join us on Facebook. Look us up under Facebook groups, uh, uh, Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. Janet is also on Facebook, Janet Barrett. I am on Facebook, Joan Newcomb or Joan Marjorie Newcomb. You can join us there. You can also follow us on Twitter, at Joan and Janet for the radio show and at Joan Newcomb for me on, on Facebook. It's a lot of fun there. Uh, and we are on YouTube, so you can binge watch us on YouTube. And send us an email, uh, consciouswithjoanandjanet at gmail.com. It won't fit conversations in there, so it's consciouswithjoanandjanet at gmail.com to send us your suggestions or questions that we can answer on the air. Do you want to tell them about sure. your website? Uh, yeah, that's Janet and beyond.com and there's you can subscribe to my weekly blog that i send out joan does one also um and uh what is it that's there oh i do want to remind people about the free conference call next week right and right, that yeah. is january what date did we decide 23rd was that no 21st because it's a thursday 21st okay January 21st, for whatever time and space you're listening to this, um, Thursday at 7, 7 p.m. Pacific. Pacific. That's important. And, if you're in a tree, it's Pacific time. <laughs> right. And uh, con contact us at Conscious with Joan and Janet at gmail.com to get on that list and notification. It does go out each time on, the, on our announcement through both of our blogs and stuff but um, that's an up, hour up close and personal and whatever it is that you're looking at in your life and you want a group support to it we'll do it there so uh, 
We haven't set a theme. I don't set. I don't think yet. Maybe it'll just be about January <laughs> and all the things. Yeah, that we don't. In we January. don't tend to set themes for that actually. So it it yeah. is kind of like it's potluck. It's whatever you show up, and it yeah. is a good way to be up close and personal, have a more intimate experience. If you have questions that you don't want to share with the rest of the world, uh, come to that, yeah. and it'll only be about you know just a smaller group on the line. Yes. So, okay. Um, and. I think that's about it from my department this morning. Okay, well, my website is Joan. My website is joan-nukem.com, and you can go there to find out the different things I have going on. I put out YouTube videos twice a week there. I put out my weekly writings uh, in my e-zine. I also have meetups around the Puget Sound, so you can go to find out about my meetups in Seattle, Tacoma, uh, Bellevue, and Olympia. My most recent ones are coming up on January 24th in Magnolia in Seattle, and then in Olympia on the 31st in Timberland Library in Olympia, and uh, then uh, not until February for Tacoma and Bellevue. So, uh, and uh, Janet's meetups are every Tuesday evening, and hers are more than conversation. It is a whole full body experience, is what I would say. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It certainly can be that. So, uh, that's with conscious conversations with Janet, and you can get that through any of the meetup sites, I think. And uh, we look forward to seeing you there. And thank you, everyone, for joining us today. And thank you, Don- Donald, was it? Our, our guest yes. um, and his questions and we'll look forward to seeing you out there everywhere everybody yes you've been listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet I'm your host Joan Newcomb and I'm Janet Barrett and we'd like to thank you all for joining us joining us as Consciousness Evolving and Expressing <music>been listening to conscious conversations with joan and janet and thanks so much for helping to co-create the show no matter if you're listening live or on demand you energetically contribute to our collective experience joan and janet love to hear from you and invite you to email your comments and ideas for them to explore each week contact them at conscious with joan and janet at gmail.com tune in next wednesday for another great show at 3 p.m pacific 6 p.m eastern and 10 p.m utc Thank you.